UPS recently delivered me the brand new Samsung Galaxy S24. So what comes in the box and is it any good? Let's crack it open. Now we were already blown away by the S24 Ultra. I'm really excited to see how does the standard version, not the plus, just the regular old standard version, how does that hold up to that technical marvel? I am very happy with the packaging here. I know everybody says in the comments like, don't worry about the packaging, but I said the same thing in the S24 Ultra video. Uh, some iPhone videos, I'll probably continue to mention when I come across good packaging, because this is just good packaging. You got the sandstone orange S24, so I'm curious what the difference between titanium and sandstone is. Okay, let's crack it open. I want you to hear this, because this is pretty good. Oh, so good. We're going to hit you with that again. I love that. There's got to be a little resistance to the opening, then it's just, it's even more epic. Three, two, one. Right off the bat, I could see this being more of a sandstone. I don't know, it just feels more sandy, like if that makes sense, uh, compared to the titanium. We'll, we'll compare them in just a second. In the box, we also get, I assume this is very, very similar. We've got the quick start guide, we've got the SIM tool, the USB-C to USB-C cable. Again, not braided, I do kind of wish. Samsung would include braided cables. Whether they're actually higher quality or not, whatever, they feel higher quality. And if you're gonna spend this kind of money on a device, everything should feel great. Not just be great, but it should have the appearance of greatness as well. Like this packaging is fantastic. They should follow that up with fantastic cabling too. I'm gonna be real with you. This is like the most iPhone-y, non-iPhone that I've ever felt in my life. The last time I had a standard Samsung Galaxy phone was like the S8. I mean, it was a minute ago and it, it felt a little different than this. I'm not saying this is bad, right? It's very iPhone-esque, which is probably a good thing for Samsung. On the back here, we've got the three cameras. We've got the little light. We've got our SIM card slot here on the bottom, USB-C port, microphones, buttons. I mean, it feels good. It feels really good in the hand. It doesn't feel overly heavy. The build quality is great. I love frosted or matte, however you want to say it. I love matte backs and matte sides. Um, I hate, I hate shiny pieces on cell phones because you're always like, what are you always doing with a cell phone, right? It's designed to be held and manipulated. You know, unfortunately for the human condition, we all have oils that we leave behind on our skin and I hate fingerprints on my devices. And so far, I don't see a single fingerprint just hanging out here. Now the difference in oranges is not very uh, apparent. I would say the S24 Ultra in just my lighting here, and it could, I mean, they look identical. So sandstone and titanium orange look, I don't know if this is gonna come through the video, but they look uh, identical. Maybe there's like a shade more peach in the titanium. I don't think that's actually the color of the back itself. I think that's my brain playing a trick on me because I see this like more bronzy metal side on the S24, whereas on the Ultra, it's more of a silver. That's probably tricking my brain into thinking that this is a lighter shade, but it's probably the exact same. Let's, that's good too. Man, that really is a good looking phone. I either like the biggest, baddest phone you can get, or I like the smallest, most compact phone you can get. And this really feels very nice and compact. Let's turn it on. Samsung. I'm not doing the whole thing all over again. <laughs> I learned my lesson on that yesterday. The screen does look really good. And another thing I do want to point out as this is turning on, much like the Ultra, I still, I have the light pointed in the exact same spot. So it's reflecting right back here. You're dead. I know you're not going to be able to see this because I did not see it when I edited the Ultra video. Um, but this does such a good job of anti-glare because I can see the glare right here. And in lesser phones, it would like carry over and just make the whole screen hard to see. But whatever anti-glare technology they have built into the screen here, whether it's a cover or composition of the glass, I don't know. I'm not the material scientist that designed this display, but I can say as the consumer, it looks really good. I agree, I agree. I do not agree to that other part. Uh, we'll set this up manually. Choose Wi-Fi network. Okay, so I actually had to input my password twice because the keyboard here is a little smaller than I, I may like, and it was a little harder to uh, type on. I do like the keyboard on the Ultra better. Maybe that's my brain messing with me, assuming that everything's bigger because there's just more space. I do think this is a little more bronze than I would say orange, like compared to the S24 Ultra. I feel like the silver, 
like lining of that brings out the orange a little more, whereas this feels a little less orange. Good or bad, I mean, depends on personal preference. Advanced intelligence, um, that's a big selling point of the S24 lineup as a whole. Um, it should be able to enhance all these things. I don't have any experience with this yet, so I'm not gonna make any claims on it. We will use that as we go and we'll figure out what happens. I am not a dark mode person. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I know that I know that is very disappointing to some people. Okay, the display here continues to look fantastic. Samsung displays, even in, I'm not gonna call this a budget, right? But even in their like mid-tier phones, the display is fantastic. It looks good. Let's actually check out the cameras on here because I was very, very impressed with the cameras on the S24 Ultra. Okay, so let's do the main camera. Okay, can we see? Can you see me there? Are we recording? Yep. Okay, so this is, which one is it? Okay, it's the middle one, just like on the Ultra. So this is the main camera on the S24. This is the image quality, just straight standard, standard app, standard everything. Um, no professional stuff is being done to this. I'm not editing it, blah, 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 blah. Straight out of camera, uploaded to Google Drive, and then downloaded onto my computer for editing. This is the image quality. I was very, very impressed with the camera on the Ultra. I assume this is the same camera, just, you know, you have less of them on here. So how does this look? Uh, how does it sound? You're now hearing the audio out of the uh, S24. I do think this could be like somebody's indoor camera, if this is as good as the Ultra. Like those are, I don't mean to keep comparing this to the Ultra, but I was so impressed by that. If they're able to do the same thing at the lower price point, mm. cell phone cameras, the modern ones, they're always good outdoors. Like saying a cell phone camera is good outdoors, that's not saying anything anymore. But inside, in artificial lighting, it's always tougher. So please hold up. Okay, I have found that the microphones are okay. They're not as good as iPhone microphones when you're capturing video, but let's see how this looks. Let's see how it sounds. Okay, now we are on the ultra wide camera. Uh, S24 still, ultra wide, no changes, blah, blah, blah. You heard me say the whole spiel before. How does this look? Uh, we'll just stick with my regular microphone for this one. Are we blocking it right now? Nope, nope, okay, we should be good. We'll just stick with my regular microphone for right now. We will not invoke the microphones on the camera. Hopefully this is looking good. I thought these were all pretty darn good. How's the stability, right? I'm I'm kind of caffeinated up right now. Uh, so if this is not too much shake in there, good job on the stabilization, uh, Samsung. All right, let's try telephoto. We did not do telephoto on the, uh, on the Ultra. So here's telephoto on the 24. And I think all you're seeing is like, uh, my nostrils, so we won't do this too long. But how does it look? Also, check, let me know in the comments. I'm really excited. I thought the uh, the cameras on these things are fantastic. Here is the front-facing camera, the selfie camera. I cannot overstate the selfie camera's importance to me. I use the selfie camera on my phones more than anything else, and yeah, it's just amazing. If you are noticing some resolution differences between the main cameras here or the cameras that I'm showing you, uh, this has all been shot in 1080p. Yes, the phone can record in more than that. I'm just doing this for right now. It looks pretty good on the screen still. I'm really, I'm really happy with how this has been turning out. Okay, initial impressions are, this is the most iPhone-esque non-iPhone I've ever seen, but it has a lot of the good Samsung stuff that people are looking for. I'm excited to see how the cameras perform. I'm excited to try some other stuff inside of here, and I'm excited to start comparing this against its more expensive sibling, see how it pairs with my Tab S9, and see how it compares against some of my other phones that I've got. What would you like to see out of the S24, the Ultra, any of this Samsung stuff, because I'm being very, like I'm being drawn into it because it's it's much better than I anticipated and I think they've gotten really good, not just in their hardware, but in their ecosystem over the last few years. And that's where I really need something to work. So let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below. And if you like this video and you want to see how its bigger brother holds up, click right here to see the S24 Ultra video. Click, 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 click. <laughs> Thanks for watching.